as we continue to mobilize extra budgetary uh, resources to fund the 2016-2020 medium-term strategic plan and for years be beyond, it is important that we further strengthen our secretariat, which is required to embark upon the nine pillars assessment soon to continue to benefiting from resources from funders. Your Honour, Vice President, Honourable Ministers, Comesa Secretariat is one of the few regional economic communities which between 2005 and 2017 received disbursements of approximately 299 million US dollars from the European Union, USAID, African Development Bank, World Bank, DFID, and others to support Comesa program. The European Union alone dispersed around 227 million US dollars to assist in the implementation of regional integration support mechanism, RISM, regional integration support program, RISIP, climate change initiative, African peace and security architecture program, and maritime security, amongst others. Under the RISM project, out of the total amount of 140 million approved by the European Union, funds amounting to approximately 104 0.2 million US dollars has been dispersed to member states. The balance is being, being dispersed under the eighth core starting from the beginning of this year. Resources from RISM have greatly assisted member states to implement COMESA regional integration agenda. Under this program, various member states are implementing projects supporting value chains in cotton, leather, and edible oils. Furthermore, from 2018 to date, a number of contracts have been signed under the 11th EDF. The Comesa Trade Facilitation Programs for uh, 53 million euro, focusing on border management and non-tariff barriers, the small cross-border trade. 15 million euros to facilitate small-scale cross-border traders and the private sector participation in the global value chain uh, the value of uh, 10 million euros aimed at enhancing the value chain programs. We are planning to sign the capacity building program for, 11, for 7 million euros aimed at strengthening the secretariat before the end of this year. In addition to working with the European Union, we have also signed funding agreements with the USAID, the African Development Bank, and the World Bank to fund commercial at the secretariat level. I'm pleased to inform the August gathering that I've already embarked on several reforms to further enhance operation and governance of this organization. With the assistance of the USAID and European Union, a capacity building program is being designed to undertake a thorough business process re-engineering of the Secretariat. This exercise will enable the Secretariat to revisit all its policies, procedures and processes so that we better delivery uh, on our mandate. Upon completion of this exercise, an automated system and process will be put in place through an efficient and robust enterprise planning and management system. Work towards the capacity building of the Secretariat has already begun, and we are confident that in the next 12 to 18 months, we shall start harvesting some tangible results. Coming to the tripartite treaty area, this arrangement takes a developmental approach to regional integration. It provides an opportunity for all the three regional economic communities, namely Comesa, East African Community, and SADAC, to have a single regime for standards, customs, transit, safeguards, settlement of trade disputes, and for addressing non-tariff barriers. When we ratify and implement this agreement, the TFTA will further enhance economic benefits arising from market expansion. The TFTA will create a huge market covering almost half of Africa, as well as provide a solid foundation for the continental integration. Assessments have shown that all countries will benefit from the TFTA, which will generate a projected additional uh, 7 billion US dollars annually. At the heart, of COMESA and the trade in COMESA 
is the need to harmonize cross-border activities, systems, and transactions. This is where economies become digital through customs, transport, travel, and the logistical services driven more by technologies than traditional administrative approaches. In this regard, factory flow production can be enhanced by technologies while pre-shipment information sharing across countries can significantly reduce the overall cost of exports and imports among member states. This is one way of making goods and services originating from Comesa more competitive and attractive in promoting both intra and international trade. Therefore, I cannot overemphasize the need for first class telecommunications and ICT infrastructure and services in all Comesa member states and indeed in Africa at large. As we do so, we need to be mindful that Africa is home to the one of the largest useful population groups in the world. Further, studies have also shown that by 2050, Africa will have the greatest growth potential in terms of resource endowment, which is likely to help accelerate social economic development. This is also likely to increase the free movement of both people and capital across our borders. Therefore, harvesting the demographic dividend and the economic growth in most member countries require digital economic integration as a matter of priority. Consequently, this meeting would not have come at a better time than now so that we all prepare our people, especially the youthful population, for a digital future. Honorable ministers, distinguished uh, delegates, I am pleased that COMESA is already embracing digital technology in delivering on its mandate. Based on this premise, I am informed that COMESA is working to establish a COMESA digital free trade area for the 21 Comesa member states through e-trade, e-logistics, and the e-legislation. I therefore invite member states to fast track the implementation of this program. When digitalization is used profitably, it improves productivity, efficiency, and reduces the cost of doing business. This is where the industrial policy and the industrial implementation strategy developed by COMESA becomes the bedrock of development in all member states. To address the infrastructure gaps, which are impeding development and take off in many countries, I am glad to learn that the Tripetite Industrial Wave Program, as well as the Tripetite Master Plans for Transport and the ICT, have been adopted 
by the Trapezoid Council, and it remains for member states to speed up the implementation process. Distinguished delegates, as we forge ahead to the future, let us not leave the youth, women, and girls behind, as we have done in the past. Time has come for men and women to work together even more in the digital space. And to this effect, I urge member states to implement the gender policy and the youth programs and to sign the Comesa Social Charter. Let me take this opportunity to commend Mauritius, Malawi, Madagascar, and the Seychelles for the bold decision to sign the charter. So other countries that are not mentioned here should take note and facilitate the signing as quickly as it is possible.